Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well guess what? We have a TV miniseries movie review. How you like that? The name of this TV miniseries mini review is Jack Hunter and the Lost Treasure of Ugarit. And that's how I'm pronouncing it. This is a three part miniseries. This is part one. This series started uh, in 2008. We are going to read just a quick little story outline here to get you up to speed. Jack is supposed to just take a picture of this stone tablet, but in an altercation, his camera breaks, now making his only choice is to take the stone tablet. Jack's friend and mentor believes it holds a secret message to a hidden treasure. Things take a wrong turn, and now Jack teams up with Nadia and her crazy local, I'll say local, maybe like that, driver, Tarek, to perform this long quest, fighting their way through Russian bad guy, Albert Lippmann and his goons. That is just a quick little outline there. A little story, a little plot synopsis, if you will. Okay? Now, the first thing we have to get through here is the fact that this is an Indiana Jones clone. No two ways about it. That's just what it is. So, uh, you have to totally forget about Indiana Jones, but it's difficult when movies like this are such a carbon copy. Uh, Jack Hunter looks just like Indiana Jones. He has the hat. He has like an outback uh, adventure type of a shirt. He has the satchel. And it also doesn't help that uh, from time to time they have shots that are almost kind of shot for shot uh, of the multiple Indiana Jones movies. Uh, one case in point is... Uh, the running and the yelling for uh, Tarek to start the Jeep uh, is reminiscent of Indiana Jones yelling at Jacques to start the plane. Uh, and another scene is just like uh, in Cairo, where the you know they're running through and the whole thing, and the guy with the knife and he shoots him. You know, you got the monkey, you got the fight scenes, you got all the running and the and all that stuff. There's a scene like that in here that's just extremely close to that so uh and also don't forget guys i have a handy dandy trusty notebook because i don't remember all these things so there you go and also remember that imitation uh is the most sincere form of flattery and that holds true with this uh, little movie all right we're gonna go over the cast and if you know me by now which you probably don't i can't say people's names for crap so we're going to get through it as best as possible. So let's go. The cast is Ivan Sergi as Jack Hunter. And I know I said it all wrong probably. Joanne Kelly as Nadia Ramadan. Thur Riefenstein as Albert Littman. These are bad. Susan Ward as Liz. That's an easy one. Mario Basil as Tarek. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you, Tarek is the driver uh, that's been assigned to him once they get over, uh, I guess he's a friend or acquaintance or something like that to Nadia, and uh, he's kind of the comedy uh, relief of the show so far. He's a little bit cuckoo, but uh, he's okay. So let's look at what we got here. Um, overall, I felt that the cinematography is okay. It was a little too well perfectly lit all the time, though. Uh, in movies like Indiana Jones, uh, all the Indiana Jones movies, uh, you have lots of uh, shadow and light playing with each other. And uh, it adds depth and it adds mystery. It adds mood and atmosphere. And a lot of times these movies don't really take the time to explore that and, uh, and put that in there. Uh, it just adds a whole different feeling to things, you know. 
Uh, so this movie was well lit and pretty well done. It's just so perfect kind of looking, you know? And even in cave scenes. Uh, there's a cave scene. I'm not giving too much away here. But uh, there is a cave scene and it's a little bit lit. You know, looks a little bit too good. Um, and then we'll go uh, on to the acting. The acting is decent enough. Um, you can dig deep into these things and oh, maybe this guy's accent's not right or this guy's accent ain't right or this ain't right or that. I don't know all that stuff. I don't nitpick all that unless it's just blatantly obvious that even someone uneducated like me could see. Um, but I thought uh, uh, the chemistry kind of with uh, Jack and Nadia uh, is pretty good and believable. It's reminiscent, of course, of uh, Indiana Jones and uh, Marion from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Pretty reminiscent of that. And there are plenty of good fight scenes. Uh, I, I was happy to see that. Uh, the, the guy playing Jack Hunter, uh, he does a good job in the fight scenes. Uh, he looks very Indiana Jones-ish. Uh, his movements, a lot of them were kind of over-exaggerated. How, you know, how Indiana Jones fought and all that. Uh, very uh, original look to the Indiana Jones films uh, with the fight scenes. Um, one thing that I noticed is these things always involve Russians. There's always Russians. What's up with that? I don't know. Uh, the set pieces, the scenery, the uh, the whole makeup of the movie, I thought was really good. It looked uh, like they really put a lot of time and effort in there. Uh, there's, you know, you have your normal uh, town and city scapes to desert to villages and kind of everything in between. Uh, it, I, you know, I think they did a really good job in kind of giving us a, a little journey through the whole picture. So, I was happy with that. Um, and I believe that that's about all I'm going to say on it. Uh, again, th this is the first part of a three-part miniseries. So, uh, that's about all I'm going to say on this one. If you like the Indiana Jones movies, and you like National Treasure movies, and you like Tomb Raider movies, and you like... Uh, all these other carbon copy Indiana Jones type movies. Uh, I think this here so far will be right up your alley. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. I watched it. I found them on YouTube. They're free. You can you can find all kind of stuff on YouTube for free. So I found it on there and the other ones are queued up and ready to go too. Um, hey, I recommend it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, if I have to give it a score, given me what it gave me, it's a TV miniseries. I have to take that into account. Uh, I think there was a good production value. Uh, the acting's decent. Everything seems pretty decent on it. Uh, it kept my interest well enough. So I believe I'm going to give it a solid 4 out of 5. I think that's fair. You might give it a little lower. You might give it a 5 out of 5. I don't know. Give it a shot. Give it a look-see. Look it up. Watch it. Leave some comments down there. Let me know what you think of it. If you do watch it or if you have seen it. I'm probably going to watch the second half tomorrow. And I'll try to shoot a, a little video of that tomorrow as well. Um, yeah. So there you go. I hope you enjoy my videos. I do it all for free. I do it because I love it. I do it because I love you all and I want to share things. I want to inspire people to do things uh, from riding bikes to working out to doing movie reviews and video games and drawing art, photography, whatever and anything in the world that you can do to get your mind, body, and soul moving. That's what you need to do. Okay, guys? Don't forget. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. Even when giving a review of a mini TV series movie. Alright, we'll see you later guys.